Now, this is the story of Mustang Cliff. Some old weird ass nigga that really ain't from Meadowview. He got his jaw broke in the east side by the east side Pyru niggas because he used to be from there. And then he tried to come through and have Trick's ugly sisters beat up some east side bitches for him. And then niggas called him out there and was like, oh, you from Meadowview now? And we had the first tape we had of this nigga that he couldn't fight. And he got beat up by uh, some east side Pyru nigga. Bam, <clears throat> they beat the nigga up and they end up jumping him. And then, you know, the homie Moose, he start busting and shit, you feel me, to clear the area. But Mustang Cliff had already got his jaw broke for trying to come back to his old hood, trying to be from a new hood and fight some, have some bitches beat up. But this nigga turn around, right, and does some hot shit, you know what I'm saying, in front of some dope fiend bitches. You know what I'm saying? The bitches called the police on him and he got a pistol in and then when the police come, he tried to put it on the other nigga in the car. Snitch on him and shit, try to make the other nigga take the case, acting like he got too many strikes. Now, this nigga first came to the hood when we was already grown. I remember Trail brought the nigga. They met at the Urban League. Trail brought him to the hood, start hanging around, smoking weed, seeing how dope we was. And the nigga started trying to be from where we was from. That's what his introduction was. Not really met a view if you came to met a view after you was already grown up. The nigga hella older. So... All this shit transpires, nigga. I don't know where that tape of him is getting knocked out by the east side niggas, but it's a fucking hilarious. But then this nigga pops up with another tape that we all seen. I'm trying to find, but I found the story on it, a backup story. And that's what we that's what I'm posting right here. But the story is this nigga was in front of a school jacking off to a woman. Or some kids, I don't understand whatever it was. Some, some, some sexually weird shit. This is a weird ass nigga, man. You feel me? But yeah, this that nigga Mustang Cliff. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Fucking sexual predator. I don't know where he say he's from. He's a late Adam. I wouldn't, I, my guess is 6'9". Because when you really ain't from nowhere ahead of you, you just can take 6'9 on because there's no requirements for entry. You could just say you're from 6'9 and never lived a, a lick in the hood. You see what I'm saying? And that's what makes the hood bad now. You got all these imposters running around trying to make the history. I heard that he actually stood up and spoke at Baby Drug's funeral. Right? Baby Drug? Yeah. <laughs> and that's crazy because you know how baby drugs don't like fake niggas and shit and snitch niggas and shit. But he got on there and told some fake story and lied at baby drugs funeral about some shit baby drugs and him did. You know him damn well. Baby drugs didn't fuck with this nigga before or after he went to the pen. It's just obvious. Y'all let a nigga stand up and talk to y'all over a nigga dead body and that's just fucking crazy. And we all know baby drugs them like no snitching ass fake ass niggas and shit like that. Mustang Cliff definitely fits that bill. And yeah, man, here go this crazy ass story where his wife was even trying to stick up for him, you know, when he caught that sexual predator case. But my point of this is, my main point is do you guys, when you represent these neighborhoods or want to be from somewhere or try to keep this cycle of bullshit going, do y'all ever just look online and see how many sexual predators have to stay <laughs> where y'all live, where y'all claim? Why don't y'all worry about getting rid of them before y'all worry about bringing more trouble to the area and causing your children all of these traumas that... Nobody makes it out of, and if you do, they hate you for it. <laughs> hey, man, but hey, this is the Matter View documentary, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, man.